Alright, so I bet a lot of you guys on the internet probably have never seen anything like this. Um, it's a axle that goes under a horse-drawn carriage. Um, some Amish guy rides around, you know, on the road. Uh, they, instead of driving cars, they hook up a horse and buggy. They go down the road with them. The horse pulls them down the road, and the guys on the uh, ver they have various buggies for various different reasons. Uh, this particular one that this came off of is just a, uh, a people mover. There's like a seat on it. Sometimes they can have like random miscellaneous tools like hammers and tool belts and a cooler or something. But that's about it. You ain't getting too much on this thing. Um, well, the axle broke. Uh, as you can see, this side is still welded on. There's two little flat bars that connect the square tube to the round tube. Uh, the round tube is a torsion axle, which is very similar to the axles that I have underneath this and underneath this. Very different than leaf springs, which I have under the truck and the, tra the boat trailer that I made. Um, what it is, is there's like a little rubber piece in here. Uh, when it gets weight put on it, that rubber piece twists uh, to a certain extent. And uh, depending on how much load you're putting on them, it de is dependent on how thick or uh, whatever strong you need that rubber piece to resist the twisting. So light, lighter trailers will have lighter rubber. Heavy trailers like that dump trailer that sits out there, that's going to be a lot heavier rubber. Um, it's going to resist twisting more than this. So what happened was, is as you can see this is welded here. Uh, a lot of the horse stuff, it's like a lot of jarring movement going down the road because they're steel steel wheels, right? So I'm gathering over time the metal just kind of fatigued and broke away. Uh, there's grease on this side, there is no grease on this side. Uh, there is a grease zerk on the back side over here. So I imagine when I start welding on this thing it is going to smoke like crazy. So I'm probably going to wear the papper. I'm probably going to smoke all the grease out of there and then I have to re-grease it after I'm done welding. Um, it was just kind of hanging on by a thread and we just kind of broke it off by hand just to get it in my truck. Um, how am I going to fix this? Uh, well, if I just go and weld the broken pieces back onto the broken pieces, probably just going to break off again. So, I found a pipe in my storage unit. I'm going to slice either down the middle or somewhere close to the middle. Um, if I don't get it perfectly centered, so it's perfectly fine. I'll take the smaller end, slap that on over top of this. Uh, weld the pipe to the axle. And then I'm going to have a little bit of uh, material on top of this that's not supposed to be there. So then I'm going to take the uh, flat bar here and I'm going to try my best to slice off uh, the uh, just above the original weld and that should slice off enough material uh, to cover um, what new material I'm adding on. Uh, because, you know, so the original metal is about like, comes to about like here. The weld goes into the base, this plate, a little bit further than the original metal. So if I slice this 
I'm going to get a score here. Hold on. Alright, so, yeah, this is the, the part that broke off, part of the axle right here. The weld that welds the axle onto this goes up to about here. So if I slice this here, and the new weld would go to here, th that would cover the uh, amount of new material that's getting added. I'd be taking away from this, and then the center of this axle should be pretty close to where it is supposed to be. If it's not perfectly, perfectly aligned, it doesn't matter that much. It's a horse-drawn wagon. It doesn't go down the road at 70 miles an hour. So if there's a little bit of misalignment, it's not going to be noticeable. Um, I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. If it's a little bit off, it doesn't matter. Uh, the guy said that, you know, you take these rubber caps off and they can kind of twist the rubber around a little bit. Um, to kind of align, you know, the wheels. I'm going to try to align them the best I can. Uh, I think the best way to do that is to just have it like I have it on the table. Uh, and these wheels just kind of center themselves because they want to hang straight down. So that might be how I align this axle back to where it's supposed to be. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get this cleaned up, get this prepared, and, uh, get this sliced off here and then it should be ready to weld uh, this is one of those repairs you can use whatever process you have whatever process you feel comfortable with if you have a MIG machine you can use MIG if you only have TIG you can use TIG if you have a stick welder and that's all you have go use the stick welder you know it doesn't matter there's no code to this uh, as long as you get it decent, it should be good enough.
see that weld in there? I'm gonna try to see that weld in there. I'm gonna try to use this piece, see if this piece fits. Now that that's tacked, I'm going to go ahead and weld her out uh, on that part first. I'm going to get my papper on.
I'm just gonna load one more thing here. Okay. It's gonna smoke a lot. You might wanna. Yeah. Alright, so now we got this thing welded out. Um, we're giving it some, quite some time to cool down. Uh, that way I can get some fresh grease into it. Uh, get some paint on it and get it out of here. Um, that's what the weld looks like. Messed up a little bit there. Uh, right here. I ground it down a little bit. And no big deal. Um, you know, it's not a perfect weld, but it should be good enough. The, uh, the leg lengths are pretty good in most spots. I mean, it all burn in both sides of the metal, um, both pieces of metal. Uh, there's not really any cold lap that I see. Um, so it should be good. So I'm going to throw some grease in there, paint her up, and then get her set out. Um, get this thing back on the wagon, and the guy should be able to take it down the road. I got it fairly close to like the toe in, toe out. It's not 100% perfect, but like I said, it's a horse drawn wagon. It's not a Super car or nothing should be okay. Uh, these are steel wheels, so they don't really grip the road too well anyway. Um, there's naturally some 